Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Isaiah Pierce, and this is Total Sovereign Grace Ministries. Today, we're going to be in 1 Samuel chapter 17. And for those of you who've been there before, you know that this is the account of David and Goliath. What is so fascinating about this account is the amount of faith that David has. Because David, he's just a shepherd boy. He's a young man. And Goliath is this 9 foot 9 to about 13 feet tall. That's where the range is. He's about 9 foot 9 to 13 feet tall giant. He's a veteran warrior. He's the champion of the Philistines. He's the mightiest warrior the Philistines have. And then you have this shepherd boy, David, who he's, he's got more faith than all of Israel. Because he says here in verse 26, he says, For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? See, Goliath was blaspheming God. He was blaspheming God. And then David, this shepherd boy, says, Who is he? He's just an uncircumcised Philistine. God's delivered us from a lot bigger things. It doesn't matter. See, David wasn't concerned with how sharp Goliath's weapons were. He wasn't concerned with the composition, what the composition was of Goliath's armor, whether it was, you know, brass, whether it was iron, whether it was steel, none of that was of concern to him or his height. He wasn't concerned with the nine foot nine or 13 foot tall, 16 foot tall. It doesn't matter. He could have been a hundred feet tall. And David, with the faith that he had, still would have done the same thing. So the king of Israel at the time, Saul, comes to David and he says, Look, David, he says, You're a youth. You cannot beat this Philistine. You're a youth. And he's been fighting since he's a youth. He's been killing people since he's your age. And you, you're just a shepherd. And to put that into context, in 33, he says, And Saul said to David, you are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And then David gets into it with Saul and says, look, this is what I've done, you know, regarding a lion and a bear and all of that. But let's just go fast forward to verse 46. And then we really start to see what's going on there. And David says to Goliath in verse 46, he says, This day will the Lord deliver you into my hand. I will smite you and take your head from you, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day to the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, and all that and all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. He was saying, Look, Goliath, not only is my God going to kill you, not only is my God going to use me to slay you, but I'm also going to cut your head off. We, we hear a lot of trash talk in sports today and, and competitions, but this is some trash talk right here. And David's saying, look, not only are you going to die, Goliath, by a rock, you're going to die, and then we're going to take your, I'm going to cut your head off. You talk about something that enrages somebody. And then we go down to 49. Verse 49, And David put his hand in his bag and took from it a stone and slung it, and smote the Philistine in his forehead, and the stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. There was no sword. So can you imagine? Can you imagine going into war now, th these days? Can you imagine our country going into war? With no firearms? With no explosives? We just send our troops in there with sticks and stones? Can you imagine going against a warrior? He's got a helmet. He's got, you know, he's got armor, breastplate. He's got a, a spear. He's got all sorts of things. He's all decked out. And then you've got a sling and a stone. Well, David wasn't concerned because as far as David was concerned, Goliath had already been killed. He'd already been delivered to him. And we see that. And therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. 
And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. So David fulfilled his promise. He said, look, Goliath, I'm going to cut your head off. I'm going to slay you, Goliath. There's nothing that my God can't slay. So is there a giant in your life today? Is there a giant? Maybe you're dealing with alcohol, drugs, pornography. Let me tell you, if you're a child of God today, he's already slayed that giant. But you've got to have faith. You've got to have discipline. I'm not talking about a prosperity gospel where he's going to slay your, your debt and make you a millionaire. I'm talking about the faith to break the chains of sin. Goliath represented death because he was a threat to Israel. He was their enemy. Sin represents death. If there's sin in your life that's got you in bondage, if, you, if you're addicted to something and you're a follower of Christ, if you're not a follower of Christ, if he saves you, he will break these chains. These giants in your life. Bless the reading of this word today. Please like and subscribe if you like and enjoy these videos. God bless you.